So here's a question for you. If you had a new saw, would you stick with the same blade that's in it or would you experiment and see if there's something out there that cuts a little bit better for your particular needs? That's what we're gonna find out today. It's story to Tuesday. Roll the intro. I believe it was last fall that I had this on my channel. This is the Milwaukee M18 Fuel 9 inch cutoff machine or cutoff saw. You know, I've been really happy with the performance of the stock Milwaukee diamond blade right here, but I really never compared it to anything else. So I think today's gonna be a good opportunity to have a little comparison and see how the two compete against each other. Let's take a closer look. We have several pieces of concrete we're gonna be cutting. This is the stock Milwaukee blade. Here's a look at the blade we're gonna be testing. This is the Rock Crusher Supreme. You can find it at bladesdirect.net. So normally their blades come with a decal. This one doesn't have it on it, but I'll just show you a picture of what the decal looks like. This is a general purpose blade. It's good for hardscape and concrete, like brick and block and stone and pavers, anything up to 15,000 PSI. It's a fast cutting blade then it has a long life to it. I checked on their website, the nine inch blade runs 129. Right now I have a fresh battery in here. This is the 12 amp hour high output battery, four bars on it. So we're gonna change the abrasive wheel out we're gonna put the Milwaukee blade on here. This really hasn't had a lot of use on it, so it should be a pretty fair comparison. And then to be OSHA compliant, I have a water supply tank right there. So we're gonna run the Milwaukee switch tank and keep the dust down cutting right over here. So we're gonna make a couple cuts into this piece of concrete right here, this paper. Let me just give you the size of it. Eight inch by 16 by two and a half. Let's do a couple cuts and see how they compare. Okay, we're all set. I have the Milwaukee blade installed. I have the water hooked up. Let me turn the water on, just make sure it flows through. All right, that should be plenty. All right, ready? Try it again. Okay, shut the water off. Milwaukee Blade definitely does a nice job of cutting through that right there. Sometimes it gets a little difficult not to push it too hard. That orange light comes on right there when you do. So that means you gotta back off a little bit. So now I have the Rock Crusher Supreme in. All right, I think I had it on five. Now I'm gonna turn the water on three. One more. Okay. Shut the water off. We're gonna take a close up look at the last two cuts. So I'm gonna just spray a little bit of water off. So this is the Rock Crusher Supreme. That's the Milwaukee right there. Just see if we can feel any kind of difference. So when it comes to testing the smoothness of it, they're both pretty equal. Both of those seem to match up pretty well. Let's cut something else. 
this is 16 by 16 by inch and a half squares. They're made for like a path or walkway, I guess. So I'm gonna do a cut in this and see how it works. Okay, turn the water on, here we go. Seem to go through it pretty well. What do you think? So now we have the Milwaukee Diamond Blade in. Let's test this out. Turn the water on. Here we go. Okay, so I'm not sure if I'm doing it proper. I'm going back and forth a little bit. Maybe I should just do one continuous straight cut. I have the Rock Crusher Supreme Blade in. We're gonna cut this six inch wide cinder block. All right, so I cut the other side. Now we're gonna cut this side. So instead of it being a three core block, it's gonna be a two core block. Pretty cool. Here's a look at my next test. You might be wondering if it cuts through reinforced concrete. So I have this block right here. I'm gonna install this rebar in it. If you're wondering how I'm gonna install the rebar, this is the tool I'm gonna to use, a Rigid Octane SDS Plus, and drill with this Bosch bit right here. Ready? Half inch rebar should go into a half inch hole. So I believe this block is three and a quarter inch, which is probably just exceeding the capacity of the saw, but we'll see. So I've done several cuts with this already, so I can definitely say the Rock Crusher Supreme passed my test, so I would recommend it to you. One word of caution if you're just getting into doing this, just make sure that you're aware it gets a little bit messy, <laughs> but that was fun. So I had a chance to stop by the Blades Direct booth last October when I was at the GIE show, so there I was able to see all their different blades. River rock, uh, granite, uh, uh, concrete, reinforced concrete. Okay. You know, this is this will definitely do the job. Absolutely. Okay. All right. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. This one here, if you're doing strictly asphalt, you got the AX13. Okay. Yeah, okay. Twenty-five thousand square feet. Of really great. Test. These are testimonials. They come back to us through the Instagram. In my opinion, a setup like this right here would be well suited for somebody that's a landscaper, somebody that's installing some hardscape items, some retaining walls, some pavers, things like that. I have done a few things like that around my house already. I'm gonna just show you some projects that I have done and some upcoming ones that I wanna do. So let's take a look. 
So back here I have my wood stove area. Behind it I want to do a stone wall. There's three sides, it's kind of like an alcove. And that's something I'm definitely going to need that saw to do the cutting of the stones. And then my wood stove sits on a raised hearth. It's about eight inches off the ground. And like here's a piece right here that I cut several years ago. So this is something where that diamond blade would really come in handy for doing something like this. So I've had this retaining wall in my backyard for some time. I would eventually like to replace it with a nice concrete block wall. I just like the looks of it. What do you guys like? Here's a block retaining wall that I did many years ago. I just like the look of that a lot better than the wood. Here's a look inside the landscape area. So you can see where you may need to do some cuts in here, depending on what type of curve you're going after. If you want a sneak peek what's happening on my channel, I have a line trimmer and a brush blade comparison video coming up. That's why I left this so tall. So my neighbors are probably wondering what's wrong with me. So if you want to see the upcoming video where I knock these weeds down, please subscribe to my channel, hit that bell icon so you don't miss it. So my goal for this video is to help you guys out by putting this blade right here to the test so you can see if it's right for you in case you're considering making the purchase of it. If there's something I left out, put your question down below. I'll be happy to respond. And if you enjoy this video, you find it interesting, informative, and helpful, please give it a thumbs up and help support my channel. That's it, friends. Thanks for watching. See you next time.